Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies questions for SCPM of CA Final. We are on a mission to be doing every possible MCQ from whichever source I can be getting. The first step in that was do every possible question from the module, which is now completely there on our YouTube channel. Arrange in a playlist form, uh, chapter wise also. And uh, the second step you all are doing now, covering every possible question from the Board of Studies portal. Two things, in case you will require any information regarding this subject, feel free to contact us on our Telegram ID. Other it will uh, age next. On YouTube channel, you will find a video for 30 most important questions for SCPM. You all can watch that also. And in case you wish to be enrolling for the complete course, link is there in the description. Whenever you purchase our course, one thing you can watch them anywhere on laptop, on iOS app, on Android, uh, on the Android app. And if you want, one day you can watch it on the laptop, one day on the Android app. Okay, so it is all synchronized. You might not much bother about all those small little things. And every course of ours comes with unlimited views for CA final. Okay, so you might not worry how many views up and so on. Okay, so let's start it off today's question. We are on to chapter number one, introduction to SCM. So the question for today is Fresh Foods is a large supermarket chain operating in 45 different Indian cities that includes large tier 1 and tier 2 cities. So Fresh Foods is something like say, okay. Yummy Foods is a consumer goods company that manufactures the products ranging from kitchen, jam, squash, etc. Okay. So Yummy Foods is something like say uh, Nestle or somebody like say Amul. Okay. They manufacture these things. Yummy Foods operates at a large scale and has considerable presence in the consumer goods industry. Okay, like Nestle or like Amul. Okay, let's keep the example that uh, yummy foods is like Amul and fresh foods is something like say DMART. So therefore it's easier for me to be speaking to you all. Yummy foods has two year contract with fresh foods to stock its products in its stores. Okay, fresh foods has similar contracts with other consumer goods company that produce similar products to yummy foods. Fine. So like, you know, uh, fresh foods, not only stocks the products of yummy foods, but then also of the similar companies like say a, a DMART will not only keep the goods of Amul, but will also stock of Nestle of other companies. Okay. And it has a two year contract. Further, these companies are competitors of yummy foods operating at a similar scale and margin due to the generic value of their products. There cannot be a patent file for them. So uh, yummy foods is like, you know, one of the companies like say uh, Amul, but then there are other companies like Nestle up and Swan, okay, who operate at the same level and all of them are manufacturing the products, okay, which cannot be patented. Like, you know, you cannot have a patent that other companies can't manufacturing, can't manufacture milk or something. Further, Fresh Foods plans to integrate its supply chain and plans to produce its own brand of consumer goods, which will be similar to the products which are manufactured by Yummy Foods. So now, Fresh Foods is now thinking that can we manufacture the goods which are currently sold by us of the brand of yummy foods if suppose like you know let's talk of a product like say jams so yummy foods is manufacturing jams so now fresh foods is uh, thinking that let's try to have our own brand whereby we will try to manufacture jams okay that is one thing further this has caused uncertainty at Yummy Foods as their two-year contract is now close to expiry after which the prices will have to be renegotiated with fresh food. So that two-year period is about to come to an end beta. If two-year period is about to be coming to an end, at the end of two years, renegotiation will happen regarding what will be the prices. Which one of the statements relating to Porter's five forces model is correct in relation to Yummy Foods industry. So please think in reference to Yummy Foods. Okay, that's important. It has high barriers to entry. Now, high barriers to entry comes because of high capital cost or say like, you know, you cannot manufacture arms and ammunition in India because that is a sector for which you have to take the license from the government. All those things bring high barriers to entry. Something like that is actually not given in the question. Further, it has high suppliers bargaining power. Now, we don't know who are the suppliers for yummy foods. So that information exactly is not there. It has high bargaining power. It has high buyer's bargaining power. Now this thing I can try to comment on. See, for yummy food, who is a buyer? Fresh foods. Fresh foods has other options also. They can buy from yummy foods and sell at their stores. And they also have other competitors. No, uh, 
से आई टोल्ड इफ सपोज यमी फूड्स इज लाइक अमोल ओके देर आर अदर कंपनीज लाइक नेस्ले ऑल्सो सो दे फोर फ्रेश फूड्स विल हैव हाई बार्गेनिंग पार दैट मीन्स यमी फूड्स बार्गेनिंग पार विल बिकम लेस बिकॉज बायर्स बार्गेनिंग पार विल बी हायर सो आई गेस दिस स्टेटमेंट शुड बी करेक्ट फोर्थ इट हैज थ्रेट ऑफ जनरिक सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ इट्स प्रोडक्ट्स आई थिंक सो इवन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट बिकॉज फ्रेश फूड्स सेल्स अ प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ यमी फूड्स एंड इफ यमी फूड्स प्रोडक्ट्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल एटलीस्ट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ अदर कॉम्पिटिटर्स लाइक नेस्ले विल स्टिल बी अवेलेबल नो सो देर फोर इट इज नॉट लाइक यू नो इफ पीपल विल नॉट बाय आर कंपनीज प्रोडक्ट्स दे कैन नॉट बी बाइंग सच प्रोडक्ट्स देर आर अदर कंपनीज वर मेकिंग द सेम प्रोडक्ट्स so third and fourth i think makes maximum sense let's look at the options first please so the options are over here one and two are correct okay one and three are correct then third and fourth are correct second and third uh second and fourth are correct i think so third and fourth are correct i think so let me look at the description what i see as told so first one the barriers of entry are not high since a company like fresh foods a supermarket chain can enter the market with its own brand of similar products you all will understand we have to answer the question from yummy foods point of view okay so fresh foods company can also enter this business so therefore there is no barrier to entry okay and it is not given that such huge amount of investment is required or it is a patented thing all those things are not given so anybody can enter so therefore as such there is no entry barrier for the statement number 2 not much information is given about the bargaining power of yummy foods it is only given that it has considerable market presence so like you know that suppliers bargaining power all those things cannot be commented on third it has high bargaining power buyers bargaining power since fresh foods has alternate suppliers who can produce a similar products at the same scale and margin as yummy foods now obviously due to this fresh foods bargaining power will be higher ours will become less no further statement number 4 it has threat of generic substitution of its products since there are other companies who are manufacturing the similar goods these goods are of generic nature and cannot be patented so obviously substitute goods can be coming hence threat of generic substitution whereby customers do not see much difference in the various brands is more so i guess third and fourth are correct yaar so third should be your answer yeah that is the correct one just before i sign off uh this is the qr code for the playlist on our youtube channel which has all the possible questions of scpm from the module do ensure to check it out i'll see you all next time with another lecture take care bye